I have a chemical peel, which I'm not gonna do is talk about me. Can you tell me about every decision before you buy something? No, now, I, you say, don't... I say inform me. I didn't say include me in the from the beginning, from scratch. I feel like I'm like, this is a lot. I'm already overwhelmed by looking at so many options. Okay, well, let's just let's put like, it like, like this. So like I, what, what would really change my opinion from this blue to this blue? Babe, these are two or completely different colors. the fact that these two are literally the same. They're not. They're different colors. Are you kidding and me? And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about okay. these two. I'm talking about this one Wait, and this let's, one. Let's take our eyes down here because we definitely want to do like... So I'm really debating between a black black. Like a black bathroom will be so fire. Or... Hmm... This is too light. Like a deep blue that one would be good. really nice. That's a that's a neutral though. But you see the difference between the colors. Yeah, it makes a lot. You know. Of, but I also want to look at like a really really deep green. Something like this. Now that's a gorgeous color. That's that's something like this with see, like gold that's my, accents. That's my steez right there. I wanted something even darker than this though, but I don't see anything. But like this is these are the colors I'm choosing between like a really deep blue a black or a deep green. Look at this fresh basil. You like that? It's nice, but isn't that even lighter than this? Yeah, but I kind of like this one more. Got yeah, this lower palette. Ooh, this. There's alpine, there's... I like um, that. I like that It might be too, too bright, but it's a clean... It remind, that reminds me of the fresh basil. Yeah, like it's basil. a cooler tone. from Lululemon. These are just the infamous Align leggings that are so comfortable. Um, I'm wearing this, what is this? A sports bra situation from Everlane. And then on top of that, I'm just wearing this half zip from Essentials, Fear of God. It's like this swishy material. Y'all know the swishy, the swishy pants and jacket sets we used to wear in middle school? Yeah, it's like that material. And then it's in this sort of like gray color and then there's a logo right there i just love half zips um and then for my bag i'm just wearing my louis vuitton three and one again and then my jewelry same jewelry as always for my shoes i'm gonna wear my arizona birkenstocks i don't have them on right now and please ignore my toes they're not done i'm about to go get them done now so yeah this is my outfit of the day
because I left my camera at home. Typical Naki vlogger. Not taking her camera everywhere she goes. I just had to like pull out my phone real quick and let y'all know about this amazing, literally amazing experience that, that I just had at my eye, do or an eye doctor that is now going to be my go-to eye doctor. So it's called like framed something framed eyewear framed eye doctor something along those lines and it is black owned which is really the only like one of the main reasons why i picked this place um it's black owned and literally from the moment i walked in the customer service was absolutely amazing and i'm a stickler for customer service the people at the front desk were so nice so welcoming literally like when i walked in they were like yeah you found the place because i couldn't find parking or i was confused about the parking even though it's literally right next door it's that was just my bad um but literally as soon as i walked in like the lady jumped out of her seat and was like yay you found it like welcome we're so happy to have you the the girl who did like the initial eye stuff like before the doctor comes in to see you like she was so nice like we <sighs> literally and then the doctor super calm super chill asked or answered any questions that I had was super nice like I don't know what truly one of the best customer experiences I have ever had in my entire life especially for a doctor because y'all know medical when you be having these medical appointments, they be treating you, they'll have you waiting for an hour. Like I was in and out, no lie, 30 minutes. I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating. My appointment was at 11.30. Well, it's 12.30 now. So, okay, the appointment was longer than 30 minutes. However, I was seen at every point of the the time like I was never really left idle other than for maybe like five minutes waiting for the doctor so if y'all are looking for a good eye doctor I feel like I'm doing an advertisement right now and I'm really not y'all I'm gonna leave their information in the description box because they deserve all the business and they're black owned so yeah This is my outfit of the day. So I'm wearing my absolute favorite two-piece set from Deji Studios. It is the linen, I don't know the name of it because I don't know the name of any of my clothes, but yeah, this is literally like my favorite lounge set of life, not even exaggerating. It's just like so oversized, so comfy. It's a button up. And then the shorts almost look like boxer briefs a little bit because it has these buttons right here with an elastic waist. Um, so yeah, it, I think it's meant to be worn to sleep, but you know how the girls do these days. We wear anything at all, any time of the day. Uh, so yeah. So this is my outfit for my shoes. I'm literally going nowhere. I'm just working from the house. So I'm wearing my avocado slippers that my dad actually got me for Christmas. And then for my jewelry, I'm just wearing my three stack situation. So the like shorter chain that I always wear. Then I'm wearing my name necklace and then I'm wearing my pendant and necklace. Lilia and May, Lilia and May, and then uh, Eddie gifted me with this. So yeah, this is my outfit of the day to work from home and do other random things from home. Also, I can't remember if I showed y'all, but I did finally get my nails done. Um, and <laughs> she be shining, she be shining, boy. Anyways, um, I got Ferrari red and I just got gel. So yeah, I got my nails and my feet both in Ferrari red. I know white toes get chose, but look, mm -mm. I need color in my life. I need color. First things first, my skin is dry. It's flaky. It's like crusty around my lips because it's peeling. I have a chemical peel 
what y'all not gonna do is talk about me it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen i'm crusty and i know it and i will fully lean into it and own it oh that rhymed cute 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 happy thursday where did the week go literally last week went by so fast and it was so busy and it was so long or well no actually it didn't go by fast it went by slow because it was busy and it was long and it was stressful and there was just a lot going on this week has gone by literally has flown by probably because monday was fourth of july so we had like a four day week and then i took off tuesday and wednesday because I needed a break but also because we were supposed to have our inspection and our walkthrough yesterday and neither of those things happened because our builder is sick or our builder got sick so everything got pushed into next week so I just had two days where I could just like get stuff done so I budgeted like I did my budgets for April May and June and like the start of July I paid some bills I went grocery shopping I like got some paperwork done sent in some stuff that I needed to send in like I just got so much stuff done over the past two days anyways that's not what I came here for I came here to show y'all some new house planning things um, so y'all saw in an earlier clip that we started looking for paint colors for the powder room, which I gave y'all a sneak peek of. Um, so this will probably be the only room in the house that is like an actual like bold color, if you will, because I want the home to be super neutral. And then I want the accessories that are interchangeable, like pillows and sculptures and fixtures and bedding and all that kind of stuff like that's really where i want to infuse color because i'm not going for a fully neutral home like it's just it's i can't do it um i've i'm just kind of over the neutral thing i do want the base of the home to be neutral but i want there to be a lot of color and like accessories and books and just the decor itself but the actual home if you took out all the decor i do want that to be super neutral and calming so for paint colors for that powder room i'm really considering or i'm toying between like black a really deep dark blue or a really deep dark green so i need i want y'all's help i want y'all's opinion on this like this got this has got to be a team effort okay this is we gotta we gotta figure this out together these are a couple of colors that i picked out so this is blackout so this is literally just a black color and then this is winter way this is like a bluish like a super deep navy blue and then we have oh this color is like kind of between a navy and a green this is called thermal i feel like it looks lighter on camera than it actually is and then you have this color which is definitely more green this is dark everglade so i guess like i'm gonna put them up from darkest to lightest so these are like the shade ranges that i want to be looking in for the powder room then we actually found this which i don't like how light this is but i do like how cold it is if that makes any sense so this is fresh basil this one right here and what i like about this one versus this one this is very cold this is very warm like is that is that the right way to say that i'm not actually sure if it is but i feel like y'all y'all are getting where i'm going with this if i could find a green that's this cold but dark 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 i would be happy so yeah y'all will see like when it comes to design and decor like that is my happy place like if i could do that all day every day i would also we need to order a couch sooner than later literally as soon as we close i want to go ahead and order our couch because i really don't want to take my couch to the house because i want to move as little stuff as possible because when you keep moving stuff in and out in and out in and out it leaves room 
to damage the walls, scratch the walls, all those sorts of things. But to be completely honest, I think we're gonna end up having to move the bed and the couch in there until we get our new bed and couch. Anyways, for the couch, I'm not gonna show y'all the design just yet or the couch that we've picked out, but I will show y'all some swatches that we just got in the mail and Really, I only wanted to see this swatch, but I kind of just wanted additional swatches just to understand like the texture of the couch and just see some other options. These are the three uh, swatches that I got. So this one is oatmeal. This is really what I want the couch to be. This one is Lagoon, so it's like this beautiful blue color. And then there's this gray color called Pewter. Um, so yeah, this is just like a nice simple gray. But what I was really looking for was, Jesus, <laughs> what I was really looking for was this because I wanted to see in person what this oatmeal color is. And it's wild because it is literally the exact same color of our like my couch now um, from article. Literally, when you put it up against that couch, it's the exact same color. Yeah, this is the color couch that we will be getting. And it's this nice, soft, almost velvety like material. That's really it for house updates, paint colors and material swatches. Material girl swatches that, I don't know what I was trying to do there. It didn't work though, so just forget I did it. I need to go, cause I gotta go do some work. The work day's about to start, so gotta go do that yeah okay um and yeah i don't know how to okay bye i'll, I'll see you later bye have some hanging right there i feel like they're okay there's something going on right here there's like a little patch of hair that won't sit am i am i seeing things i don't know i don't know um yes no i'm not seeing things y'all y'all see this right here it won't like sit anyways happy saturday i'm still ashy I'm still flaking, I'm still peeling, so ignore, just ignore it. It is currently three o'clock, y'all. I didn't wake up until like 10, 10, 10, 30. Re Honestly, I wasn't out the bed until like 11, 30. I'm not even gonna lie, like I was up, but I was like in bed reading and just not moving <laughs> out of the bed. And it was because I was exhausted. And I'm gonna show y'all why I was exhausted. Give me one second, be right back. This, this is why I did not get out of bed until pretty much the afternoon. And mind you, even on the weekends, I typically get out of bed at like 6.30, 7 o'clock cause I just, my body just wakes up. I was up until like five o'clock reading this book. I'm still not done. I was up until like two o'clock. I think I was editing. And then after that, I still wasn't sleepy. So then I pulled this book out, y'all. It shouldn't, it shouldn't even be like, 
possible for a book to be this good. I don't want to give any spoilers, but I might give spoilers. So I don't know, maybe just skip like the next 60 seconds of this if you plan on reading this book. So this is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. As you can see, I'm sure you've heard of the book. I'm sure you've heard of Colleen Hoover because she is all the rage these days, I guess. I don't know. This be having me on the edge of my seat. And last night, I just, I couldn't stop reading. I just, an hour went by and then another hour went by and I was still reading and I was just like, oh, oh, oh my gosh. I got to the part of the book where he was like, what's her name? What's this girl's name? Um, Lily, Lily. Where'd you get the magnet from? If you've read the book, you know where Lily got the magnet from and how upset her husband got because of where she got the magnet from and the fact that she brought it into her, like, into their new home and all this kind of stuff. Bruh. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, I never expected it. I never expected it. Like, I thought, I personally thought that he was going to turn over a new leaf and, like, walk away when he was upset and like the whole thing that they agreed to her helping him with his anger issues and like when he blacks out and is no longer rile and becomes a different person all the things i genuinely i genuinely thought this man was going to change clearly he has not and he still has the same anger and rage and blackouts that he has always had i guess since he was a child i'm just gonna say like Thank God for, uh, what's, what's the other guy's name? Atlas. Thank God for Atlas. I mean, talk about just like a full circle moment. And what was wild to me, and I'm not finished, so I, I, I'm not finished, but what was wild to me was like, he ended up coming to get her and, you know, taking her back to his house and giving her a shower to wash off and clothes to wear and all that kind of stuff and I'm literally like the tables have turned because when they were a kid of course she was doing that for him like she was saving him and his homelessness giving him a place to shower giving him clothes like clean clothes giving him a safe place and a safe haven and years later he's returning that same help to her and the fact that he named the restaurant better in boston like dedicating it to her it's just love and also what i really want to happen is for atlas to just like take her into his loving caring arms and they fall madly in love together and they just become one happy family i feel like knowing colleen hoover that may not happen but that's what I want to happen. Anyways, spoiler alert over. I'm gonna keep reading this tonight and I'll probably finish it tonight. And I just, yeah, uh, my mind, my brain. But yeah, I just had to get that off my chest because I don't know anyone that reads Colleen Hoover books. But if you do, let me know. Cause I, I, need, I need someone to bond with over these books because they're just so good. Anyways, um, that's that's why I got a very late start to my day. Anyways, um, I need to eat lunch and then run some errands and then that's it. I think I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of this vlog or not because I it's Saturday and I don't know what else I have planned for the rest of the day. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm going to get out y'all's face with my ashy face. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>